Okay, today I'm working on a Dell LCD monitor. The model number is W2607C. Now this TV came in here dead, except for the panel light did come on when you first plugged it in. Not when you hit the power button, but when you first plugged it in. I'm going to show you what you get here. You'll notice that the light comes on. It flashes blue, or actually it comes on blue. It doesn't flash. And then a few seconds later it starts flashing yellow. Now, surprisingly, when I hit the power button with my finger, that doesn't reset it and it doesn't turn it off. And that alone can often be an indication that it's a mainboard problem. Because we do have our standby voltage, or we wouldn't be getting any panel lights here. So, oh, by the way, I want to give a special thanks to my friend Damon who helped me out on this one. Real brainy friend of mine that uh, knows these things backwards and forwards. Anyway, um, I did a little... I did a little unnecessary troubleshooting on this one. I started out, when I saw it immediately go into shutdown, I just automatically assumed I had an inverter problem, and that, and this one, it was a inverter were underneath the uh, shielding here, so it was a real nuisance to get to it. So I checked the fuses on the inverter boards, everything was fine. And then I checked my power supply voltages. I had a 24-volt line here, actually several 24-volt lines. I had a 12-volt line and several 5-volt lines, and everything checked good. And then I went on to the main board, and I was kind of looking things over, and checked a couple fuses here. I noticed that was a 3-amp fuse. That one was fine. And this 3-amp fuse happened to be open. So it turned out my friend was right. Something going on on the main board. So what I did was I, I put a single strand of wire across the fuse here. Rather than waste another fuse, I just wanted to see what happened if I jumped it. So I used a single strand of wire that I know will blow at about, um, oh, about one amp with a small strand that I used. Uh, what I mean is I took a strand off of stranded wire, a single strand, so I knew it was, you know, very low current capacity. Okay, I hope I made that clear. Anyway, what I did was I put, um, I knew that this had 12 volts going through the fuse, so I put a wire on my output side, so I could hook it to a 12-volt source. I didn't want to use my power supply as a 12-volt source because I was afraid if I was to jump this fuse and this lo this um, power supply had to send voltage to the main board through the fuse, it would be kind of hard on the power supply to ask it to do that if it's got a, a short to ground on here somewhere. So there's some, there's some kind of short I knew on this board bringing this fuse to one side of the fuse to ground potential and that's why it blew. Now I would started out by checking the uh, voltage regulators that were fairly close to the fuse. Uh, I found one here and one of them was right here and here and checked some of the diodes and transistors and I didn't find any shorts and then I had this idea that if I applied a voltage uh -huh. to the TV that I could I could put my own 12 volt source right into this fuse here and that would enable me to see where the short is. But what I did first, I froze the board. I put free spray all over it, like this. So everything became frosty white. And then I took a 12-volt uh, battery here. Only I did it through a resistor because I don't want too much current going through the, uh, the component here. If I have too much current, I'm going to create a bigger problem and maybe burn some of the traces. But you'll notice when I touch this here, the first component that defrosted was this little MOSFET right here. It's an N-channel MOSFET. So that told me that's the component that's got a short to ground unless there's something on its output side that's shorting it to ground. But it, I'm guessing, because these do go out from time to time, I'm guessing it's probably this N-channel MOSFET. So I went ahead and ordered it. I'm going to put it in and see what happens.